and we are back, ladies, gentlemen, and MBs, for the start of our second to last week of MVC here at Valpo for Rocket League versus Missouri State University. I'm your host, Dekambe. I'm here with my co-host. Henry, Speedy Kill Ninja. And I mean, we got a pretty interesting game here today. Uh, MSU, definitely no joke of a team, right? We got yeah. uh, three three top-level players, um, especially considering, you know, record-wise, they are 3-1 and one on the season. Valpo coming in 2-2 two and two to this game. So, although, you know, the record doesn't say it, definitely going to be a pretty, pretty strong match today. Yeah, I mean, this is a tough conference, um, tough specifically for Rocket League. Um, we've already played two teams that, like, are SSL across the board, which is top rank in Rocket League. Um, played another one today. Um, notably, though, they've been playing up to their competition and been playing pretty well. Uh, have been pretty much on fire, other than Saturday had a little bit of a miscue. But um, <laughs> have been playing really well towards the end of this year. And uh, really excited for this one. Should be a good one. No, definitely. I mean, we're we're pretty locked in here in the booth, right? We're hopping in pretty early, but um, I've always been excited to see Valpo play Rocket League, right? I feel like this season, especially more than most, uh, they've kind of found their footing in how they like to play these couple of games, especially yeah. considering we talk about like metas all the time uh, with all of our other games. Rocket League is no different, right? Rocket League has a meta of playing aggressive, has a meta of demos, different things, and we've seen Valpo kind of incorporate those things into their game plan as they've been playing now. So I'm excited to see how Valpo kind of you know takes it because this is a higher level team right yep and we have been known to play up to their level right we we rarely play down to teams we always play up to teams yep. right that that kind of underdog mentality is definitely nothing that we're not used to yet so um i'm excited to see how valpo is going to play this match yep um have the same roster as usual our varsity roster we got master seb captain of our team um we have thamos as our fourth sub in there and then we have jank um as well as Ex Oblivious, sorry, that's a tough one to say. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this roster has been playing really well. Like I said, um, returning from last year and will be returning next year, which is um, you know this a big piece of our program here is going to be re this returning Rocket League team. Um, so they are all juniors, I believe. Um, I know for sure they're not all seniors. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. I'm really excited to uh, have this group. Uh, they've been playing a lot together, practicing a lot, improving. Um, excited to see that development over. The summer this postseason and into next year um, but you know right now we got playoffs coming up um, unfortunately they are knocked out of the Great Lakes U Sports Conference playoffs which is 12th and 13th yep. next weekend we're playing at Illinois State University for MVC playoffs um, and then they're also in the NECC semifinals on Friday um, so fired up for that match hopefully this team can uh, bring home some hardware for the first time this uh, academic year um, but yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Um, I mean, you were mentioning playoff games, right? Playoff series. I think just for Valpo in general, right? For our whole program, uh, we have a really, really strong lineup coming up, right? Obviously, tomorrow we have uh, the semifinals for League of Legends, right? Yep. Um, Thursday we have a play and get in situation for our Overwatch team. Friday, like you said, we have the playoffs for Rocket League as well. Um, we are just hitting you with back to back yeah. to back to back uh, straight Huge games matches. of content. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, these are the biggest match of the year, um, <laughs> back to back to back. Um, and then Saturday at nine, our Smash team takes on Concordia, CUAA. So Concordia and Ann Arbor. Um, Rocket League plays Bethel at eleven, and then Overwatch finishes out their season against Mount Union. Um, which is always a good one to watch for me because that's my alma mater. <laughs> so. yeah. No, definitely. And um, I mean, you'll be in the booth, right, uh, for a couple of these, but I won't be in tomorrow, right, being yep. playing. But otherwise, you're going to see a lot of us this coming week. Um, yeah. We're going to be in this booth constantly, and I'm excited about it, right? Uh personally i love i love casting these games i love the teams that we have you were talking about having returners for uh rocket league we have we have a returner story for rocket league and we have kind of a last hurrah situation for overwatch with a lot of yeah. seniors on that team uh our league of legends team is getting there as well losing jakimbo right after the next year uh being a senior we, we have kind of a situation going on where you have you have one of everything if yeah. you're if you're looking for content here um valpo is definitely definitely shooting it out here um, so I'm excited to say. Yeah, but anyways, we're going to take a short break while we wait for this game to get started. But uh should be starting here in a few minutes, so yep. we'll see you guys in a minute.
And we are back, ladies, gentlemen, and MVs for the start of our match one for our uh, second to last week for MVC. Valpo versus MSU here and immediately starting it off. We're going to look at the roster for MSU now that we know it. Um, we got Bones, we got Hobbs, and we got Pluvio. Um, both coming in as well. MSU orange side, Valpo blue side. Usually we're used to seeing Valpo on that orange side, but you know. It's nice to change it up once in a while as we see ball at midfield hopes taking it off the wall now jake looking for something but yeah orange is a combo of like yellow and brown like you put those two colors together and it's orange actually i think so dude i don't know i learned <laughs> this in like elementary school pull up the color wheel dude pull up the color wheel. <laughs> already getting off track like 30 seconds into the game um <laughs> but yeah they usually are orange i don't know why i feel like that's like should be our color <laughs> yeah. but um, definitely but yeah, starting off in this one, um, Valpo looking to clear this ball, but Hobbs going to get a good uh, center at that. I mean, it's going to be a tough game. It looks like the pace is pretty quick from MSU right off the bat. Um, definitely boost hogging, but Master Seb going to get a shot just high. Yeah, might be able to set it up for Oblivix. Oblivix not going to be able to find the contest there. Master Seb's going to turn it right back with a demo. Now ball's back on this blue side. Jank, really nice defense there. Try and stay up. And Valpo definitely playing really aggressive. This ball is stuck around this MSU side goal um, for a lot of this early game. As you see, Oblivix there, they're just taking no, they're taking no prisoner. They're just taking as many shots as they can. Um, I agree. There is a Jank Masterclass incoming. I, I'm going to call it right now. Um, I'm feeling good about today's game, but now Oblivion's going to take this ball off the wall. Still looking on the side, Bones contesting it really well. You kind of see MSU's playing this midfield really, really strong, where a lot of the balls at goal are just getting cleared out and then kind of hovered around the side. But, I mean, I'll, I'll eat my words happily right there. Oblivion's going to start us off with the first goal of the game. 3 minutes, 15 seconds uh, left on this clock here. You can see really nice drivel up, really nice approach. Just going to be able to swerve it around Pluvio. And that's going to be your first goal. And Valpo with the first blood of this uh, whole match. And now ball going to be cleared to the center here. Bones still popping it up. Oblivix looking for something. Going to win the contest. Um, playing a lot more aggressive than we've seen Valpo play before against these teams kind of early where... A lot of the times, you don't even just go up for that ball, but it looks like Oblivix is just not playing around now. Going to pass it off to Master Seb. Master Seb taking the shot over the middle. Not going to find it. Off the rebound, not going to find it either. Just a little bit high. Bones is now going to take the shot to the side, but Jank going to get a nice tip. Looking for Master Seb, and Whoa. Master Seb's going to be able to put it back in. Valpo coming out the gate strong here, 2-0. and Yeah, up 2-0. Great start here. I don't know why, but the pace feels faster today. Looks like the cars are moving faster. Shots are going faster. Um, but Valpo able to keep up with this pace and kind of set the tone for this game um, and this series looking really hot um, off the start. Yeah, definitely. And Jank immediately off the wall. Really nice kickoff for Valpo. Going to force MSU back in the corner a little bit here. Master Seb going up. Not going to be able to find it. Oblivix at midfield. Going to return it back to orange side. And now Valpo sitting right here looking for something. Uh Bones is going to be able to clear it out, and we're going to see if MSU can take kind of their first offensive stretch here, but Oblivix is immediately going to demo. Hobes sets it up over the middle, but there's nobody there off the demo. Pluvio tries to rush in, but it's not going to be fast enough, and now Valpo back control of the ball. Jank putting some really oh. nasty moves up there. Not going to find anything, though. Bones matches it really nicely. Oblivix is going to contest right there. Master Seb going to get the demo, and now Valpo is with a numbers advantage on orange side. Still looking for something here, but the ball straight over the middle. Really nice save by Oblivix. Valpo is still back on top. Yeah, Jank wasn't able to get that flip reset there. It was looking really yeah. promising for a little uh, freestyle clip there. Uh, but two minutes left in this one. Valpo holding on. Um, looking really solid. Um, nice to have that extra goal for the buffer zone. But Jank finding the demo. Good yeah, no, save we by saw Hobbs. We talked about this early game as well. Kind of Valpo adapting to this meta as the season has gone on. I think we literally have had like five demos this game. Make that six. Um, <laughs> we, we just can't stop. Uh, so now Valpo giving themselves a really nice shot and a great pass from Oblivix into Jank with a really nice angle. That's going to put Valpo up 3-0 in this match with a minute 32 left. Wow, looking really solid. I mean, this is not uh, what I kind of expected to see in this one. You know, I definitely thought Valpo was going to put up a good fight, but especially game one, like this team... Tends to start slow, but they are firing right off the gate, maybe uh, making a new uh, MO for them uh, as we head into the postseason here. But up 3-0 with a solid lead in game one with only a minute 20 remaining. Looking really good. Yeah, I mean, I love it. They're firing on all cylinders here. Um, and Valpo still just looking to extend that lead as Oblivion is going to shoot this off the wall. Valpo playing with just uh, kind of... 
not taking their foot off the gas pedal here, just being able to press it, you know, pun intended. I have to I have to slip one in every game one that we cast Rocket League here, I feel like. But now <laughs> Ball back on orange side here. Still looking for something. Oblivix over the middle. Pluvio is going to be able to knock it back up. Valpo winning the contest again. Pushing this ball to blue side. Master oh. Seb going up. Not going to be able to find it. Pluvio's right there. Now ball's back in this corner. Going to be pushed to midfield. Oblivious is not going to let that happen though. Still taking it up. Going to play a little big contest here. The pass to Jank over the middle. Not going to find it. Hobes is going to return it right back. And Master Seb is back on D. Yeah, the window's starting to close for MSU here in game one with 30 seconds left. Going to have to find an opportunity if they want a chance here. But 30 seconds. Valpo still on their side of the field. Hobbs going up for a crazy play. Going for a ground pinch. Yeah. Uh, doesn't quite pull it off. Yeah, almost found it. But no, you saw right there, right, Valpo? Usually a lot of the time they kind of just see that ball go in the air, back up a little bit. Oblivix is just boosting straight towards it, right? I know probably, a t or excuse me, probably expecting the ground pitch coming, right? So obviously you want to go up and try to grab it before, but still, Valpo playing it really well. Another deflect, one second left, and Valpo is taking game one here, although we're, we are playing a little bit with the overtime, but it's not going to be long. Valpo being able to take this first game of the series. Yeah, and able to shut him out in game one, too. It's really huge. Um, only seven shots for the side of Valpo, but, um, you know, the shots that they had were good, and... Pretty even, solid performance across the board for Valpo. And we're also able to, uh, you know, kind of negate what MSU was able to do there. You know, 200 or lower across the board for them. Um, but some great saves, great offense, had some great shots, and are playing very well so far in this series. So, I mean, all they got to do is keep it up. So I mean, my intuition was correct. That's all I got to say. Um, <laughs> I was feeling good about the game, and we definitely started it off strong. Valpo yeah. going up game one. We'll see what MSU um, decides to change here, ad adjust, adapt, um, mm -hmm. because, you know, being a good team like they are, uh, I'm sure, looked like they just want to kind of hop right back into the game, um, didn't want to take a break and talk it over. Sometimes that's like the mentality, like, okay, that was a fluke or yeah. whatever, like, let's get right back into it, let's get it. Um, but yeah, curious to see what they're going to change up this game, whether it's, you know, playing for more bumps, demos, um, do they kind of change up the pace? Um but yeah, Valpo yeah. looking really solid in game one. Dominating I performance. I wouldn't be surprised if MSU tries to keep this ball a little bit lower than normal. Um, a big point to last game was it felt like Valpo was winning every air contest. Um, ball was rarely going up in the air and not ending up on orange side. So I think MSU might just look to, again, throw a couple more ground pinches in there, throw a couple more passes in there. Oh, but Valpo, a really nasty first goal right there, starting it off. Only 55 seconds in, but you've seen, again, ball high up in the air. Master Seb playing with the range really well. A I really nice that. dribble and swerve. Going to be able to just angle that really close. Dude, nothing fancy, just keeps it mm -hmm. nice and simple. Says he's going yep. left, no, I'm going right, and slots it right in. Just textbook. But now Valpo... Ball's on orange side here, or excuse me, on blue side. A scary kickoff, but yeah. able to avoid uh, anything Ooh. happening. <laughs> okay, Master Set. Okay, I see you. I see you. I'll keep the cam on you this game. I, I got it. I got it. You know, no. an interesting thing is, you know, at the beginning of the season, I remember talking about, like, this is a fundamental-based team. Like, they don't have these, like, mechanics mm -hmm. um, as much as other teams usually do, but that's, like, been a big growth for this team this semester is yeah. this, like, aerial play where instead of, like, driving their... <laughs> <And a blitz. laughs> Almost a nasty shot right there as well off the corner. Really nice save by Bones, though, and then immediately going back up, Jenks is going to take this back off the wall. They're looking for a pass in the corner. But instead of driving, you know, they're kind of just flying around most yeah. games at this part in the season. Um, so it's crazy to see, like, their mechanics have, like, significantly improved. They've been practicing a lot. I mean, today they got here, like, two hours before the game, and we're just grinding. So. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think, I mean, that kind of growth of just, like, mechanics in general is just so <clears throat> huge for this Valpo team who likes to play aggressive because you just have so many more angles to your attack now, right? You're seeing Pluvio right there, Blivix being able to knock it off the wall, looking for something here. Ball's going to be hovered over the middle, but no. Um, just having that little bit of, you know, air control, that little bit of dribble control can be so huge on an attack that keeps a defense guessing. So the more times you can vary it up, the easier it is to put those shots in. Like we saw, Valpo didn't have many shots last game, right? Seven compared to their usual double digit numbers, but still was able to score, you know, three out of that seven sh shots yeah. because of that varied approach they had. Yeah, didn't have the quantity, but definitely had the quality there. Yep. Um, sometimes just the quantity is tough for teams to like keep up in rotations, make that save over and over again. Um, but we are just past halfway through this one. 
boy, MSU missing an opportunity. And Valpo going to have an advantage here. Yeah, going to use this advantage, wow. almost being able to get it. Just going to be chipped up over the side. And Valpo going to get cleared back to midfield. Jenks still back on defense. Um, another big thing, right? I talked about kind of air control, but they've been managing their demos really well, right? A lot of the times it feels like MSU is not being able to find an approach, although a really nice contest right there by Hobes. Um, going to pass it back up to Bones. Bones taking it up over the middle here. Jenks going to be able to go up and grab that back to midfield. Kind of just neutralize it a little bit. Looking for Oblivix over the middle. Going to be able to clear back out. Balls back on orange side. But now Valpo has been being able to play with their demos really well. So on these approaches like this, usually find one or two demos. Pluvio going up. Not going to be able to find it just off the top crossbar. Now Valpo is back on attack. Wow. Great oh hit there. Oh my gosh. Huge, huge. I mean, yeah, I don't know how he's able to wall. navigate that car like that. I mean, he's zooming through, yeah. flying around with his air roll, and Master Seb able to tap it in. You know what? I, I think the chat member called it. This is a jank master class. Uh, we're <laughs> seeing it right now. But uh, Valpo going up 2-0 in this uh, game two here. Minute 22 left on the clock, so obviously nothing nothing too much right now. But if Ooh. you go with a third goal, who even cares? Master Seb finishing it off. That's the third goal. Uh, an immediate demo off rip to Master Seb just gunned it for one of them. After getting that, immediately going to take that shot over the middle and Valpo. Now that you have a 3-0 lead, uh, minute 15 left. Again, this is Rocket League, right? Anything can happen. But Valpo is sitting a little bit prettier here to where now you're not as rushed to make these goals, right? You're not trying to spread this lead as much as you can. Now you can kind of slow it down. You can focus more on just keeping this ball to midfield. So even when your attacks don't work, you're kind of not basing them on goals anymore. You're basing it on how long can you control the ball. Absolutely. But Valpo up 3-0 has a much more comfortable lead than they did halfway through this game. Um, but looking really solid this series. I mean, looked like MSU um, didn't really change too much. Had a couple scary situations, but Valpo was able to pull through in those defensive scenarios. Um, and, I mean, Valpo is clicking today. So, yeah. I mean, this is what I was talking about. Like, the past month, like, They've been playing really, really solid teams and just been playing up to the competition. Um, and it's nice to see them, you know, be on the winning side um, of the game here. So far today, I, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but, um, <laughs> yeah. you know. We got to knock on wood. Yeah, we got to knock on wood yeah. real quick. I, there I don't know why I even put that out there in the air. <laughs> um, but, I mean, taking a 2-0 lead here um, against a very talented team, I thought that, yeah, they're <laughs> this is yeah. cool. They had to break I'm, I'm just going to, yeah. yeah. But anyways, breaking the shutout there, first goal of the series in game two. Yep. Um, man, I am just so impressed with this team and this roster yep. um, in this game specifically. But anyways, MSU able to uh, find their first goal of the series here and kind of crack the seal. So uh, yep. but Master good kickoff Seven immediately going to return it and just get another <laughs> goal right back. Uh, really, really nice kickoff. You can look right here. He just kind of swerves a little bit right here. Yeah, it just swerves yeah. it right past. So it's going to be no, able to No, the, uh, the door was cracked open a little bit there, and then Master Seb just came in and slammed <laughs> it shut. So. Yep. It was a very, very strong wind putting that <laughs> together. But now, Valpo, five seconds left. Game two. Going to be able to grab the win here as well. Going to put him up 2-0 in this series, right, which is a great spot to be sitting at for Valpo in this game. So I'm excited to see how they kind of want to play this because obviously – um, MSU wanted to hop immediately oh, right wow. back into this game. Taking, I didn't, yeah, I didn't even notice Master look, Seb wow. with four goals. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah. Master Seb was just <laughs> clearing house that Master game. Master Seb masterclass. Actually. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even, I wasn't keeping track of who was scoring the goals, but this team um, has really been gelling, clicking, looking good, um, and they're up 2-0, which is huge. I mean, best of five series here, so on match point. Um, so, I mean, just got to keep a foot on the gas. Yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> um, you notice every single positive thing that I say about this team now, I will be knocking on wood just, to case, just in case I cast or curse it. I want to make sure that, you know, we're, we're, we're good on all sides here. But Valpo, honestly, the way they've been playing, I don't think I can curse it. You know, there's, there's no luck involved in this. This is just insanely good gameplay, right? This is just Valpo playing at the top of their league right now. Um, being able to meet and exceed expectations, especially with their mechanics, with the rotations they're running, and immediately trying to just start it off. Not going to be able to find it, though. Goal is, or excuse me, ball just hovering around that goal. Not going to find it. Master Seb going to take it off this wall now. Um, Valpo looking to start it off, but Hobes immediately with the demo going to put him in a bad spot. Jank got cleared out of the goal, but it's going to be immediately right back. Ball hovering around this midfield. The pass to Oblivix. Oblivix putting it back over the wall. Now Valpo's looking to 
just open it up for this first goal. Gonna get caught in the corner a little bit here, but pushed right back. Valpo still in an okay spot, but um, no, yeah. I, like I was saying, I when I knock on wood and when I do things like that, it's always it's always a joke because obviously there's not much luck involved when it comes to these kind of wins, especially the wins that Falpo has. A lot of it. We like to feel like we have a lot of influence in the booth, exactly. but in reality, yeah. we have absolutely no yeah. like impact in, in, on the game. In reality, there's, there's nothing to take away from these players that are playing this right now because Valpo, their leads these games have come from just extremely clean gameplay, right? And we're seeing right now MSU definitely putting up a lot more of a fight right now, focusing a little bit more on the demos and goal, especially when they're on offense. Yeah, um, this defense has been rock solid for Valpo, only having the one goal in the series coming late in game two. Yep. Um, but, I mean, their defense leading to some offense here. Master Ooh. said with a good shot, just going to be saved in time. Yeah. Really nice save by Pluvio, but um, if I'm not mistaken, that's the third or fourth demo of this game already for MSU, right? Definitely putting Valpo's momentum kind of on the back burner, um, just making sure that these attacks aren't cleared, you know, 3-0 shots, shots, you know, clear goals. Every time that you can, you have to force Valpo out of position, but a really nice angle from Master Seb's going to put this back over the wall. Jank looking to play in the corner here. Not going to be able to find it, but Oblivix is midfield. Gets a really nice chip. Might be able to lead this in. Bones is going to be right there to dribble it back out. Master Seb looking to hit something, but Hopes going to take it back over the middle. Bones going to repeat it, looking for the second oh. tap, but not going to find it. Yeah, great double uh, opportunity from MSU. Wasn't able to put it away. Looked like he had it there for a second, um, but Valpo... Almost able to find a clear. Yep, able to find a clear. Looking for that Ooh, demo. And, and a great it. demo. Huge demo right yeah, there and a great tell shot. Exactly where he was based on the director cam there. But you saw Master Seb playing offensive line here. Gonna put up a yep. great block for Obliviax to roll it in. Yeah. Really, really nice call right there. But no, Valpo now, again, first goal of the game. Uh, got two minutes 30, so obviously a little bit slower now, but that's not the worst thing in the world when you're talking game three leads right yep. you always want to just try and take the out of all the games you can these are the games to get late goals right you, you want to kind of squeeze these ones out if you can uh anything that you get in jank oh, yeah. immediately with oh. another demo but a great Pluvio. save from pluvio dude he flew in there yeah that was crazy but jank <laughs> jank's gonna be immediately right back gonna try and take this over the wall hobe's looking to put something it's gonna be a little bit high master seb's gonna hit it msu's just missing a couple of the opportunities they have master seb making sure he completes his gonna come up here with the second goal of the game a really nice shot over the wall here you know a midfield goal especially with three members of msu chasing him yeah dude i mean they're they're looking good no miscues today mm -hmm. um msu has made a couple mistakes here uh, maybe not playing as well as they want to be but valpo has been firing on all cylinders yep no <laughs> <laughs> no yeah when you're when you're playing top notch like Valpo is right now, it's a lot easier to point out the mistakes at MSU, right? Like yeah. it, it makes those mistakes a lot, a lot clearer because Valpo is playing a really, really strong game. So I'm excited to see um, how Valpo wants to clear this one out. Remember, you have a minute 30 left. Bones is going to be able to demo there. Looks like MSU is on attack here. Ball straight in the goal and Hobes is going to be able to return it. It is 2-1 now. So Valpo has to just play this like a 0-0 game, right? Yeah. You are one goal away. Yes. I feel like it's the first game this series that uh, is kind of close coming down to the wire a little bit here. Um, one goal lead by no means safe at all. Yep. Um, kind of like to be in that two to three range for me to probably uh, lean back in my chair a little more. Um, oh, and Valpo yeah, well, gives up another one to Hobbs. Immediately, yeah. Uh, Valpo kind of got the wind taken him out of, or excuse me, taken out of him for a little bit. So now you're actually playing like a zero zero game. <laughs> uh, really, really quick kickoff goal right there. So we're gonna have to see how Valpo kind of wants to react to this, right? Yeah, good on MSU though, um, being able to take a deep breath, even going down at the start of game three, but able to kind of fight back here and get. Oh, and Oblivix with a great shot, and we're immediately gonna go back up. Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> I, I, I was no, leaning big. back in my seat a little bit, but yeah. No, I we're... mean, these are back-to-back, -back, like, kickoff play goals, and uh, yeah. Valpo able to make the adjustment. Um, not sure if they have, like, kickoff. Dude, I need to find this out sit out there for a game sometime. If they have, like, <laughs> specific calls, like a football or basketball yeah, game, yeah, like, yeah. running the play. I think you brought that up a couple weeks ago. Yeah. But, like, I mean, they're definitely practicing these, and they look coordinated. Um, but able to find a huge goal um, to answer back. You know, that's a good question. I wonder if they have, like, formations. Dude, yeah, we like gotta we gotta get a uh, like post game interview, but uh, check the social yeah. media. 
um, over the next couple of days. That, that's going to be one of the questions. So Definitely, yeah. But ball just hovering around blue side, not going to be able to find anything. MSU definitely, you know, playing really scrappy now. They have to look for everything that they can. But Master Seb going to take this off the wall. Hopes going to return it right back. They're just looking for something. Pluvio with our huge demo right there. It's going to open MSU a little bit. Um, take the pressure off, but they're not going to be able to convert. Oblivix is going to hit it right back, and now Valpo's back with three people. Jank taking it off the wall, going to be able to cont excuse me, contest the corner. Pluvio with a really nice shot in the corner, not going to go. Just a little bit wide right, and now Jank is going to contest it again. Remember, you have 20 seconds left, right? So although it is uh, low on time, right, you only have one goal to defend. So if Valpo can at least play... To at least just put this ball on the ground when this time comes up you have 10 seconds left you got full boost on master seb looking for something not going to be able to grab it but oblivix is back here comes the three-man rush from msu one second left balls on blue side here valpo has to put it on the ground and they're going to put it down valpo with a clean 3-0 sweep against msu today and a really quick match wow i mean we're in and out of here less than a uh, half an hour and oh playing a really solid game against msu Unless you didn't like that um, either. Yeah. They took off immediately. <laughs> they um, but they did not want to play that. Leading the way again. Has a goal here in uh, Game 3. Oblivious with the other two. Um, but yeah, Valpo um, and Master Seb Masterclass today. But uh, <laughs> this Rocket League team looking really good today. Um, huge win in a game that we were not expected to win. Anticipated to win record-wise, rank-wise. Um, so, I mean, big upset today. And, uh, you know, as we look forward to playoffs... Um, you know, your record, you know, starts to matter less and less as long as you qualify and you're there, like yep. which team is going to show up, which team is, you know, learning and getting better throughout the season. Um, and I feel like this Rocket League team is in a great spot. Um, hopefully win a championship in uh, one of the leagues coming up here. Yeah, definitely. I feel like Rocket League starting to really hit their stride now. And, um, just in like a broader context as well, uh, this team kind of just set the tone for the week, yep. right? Like coming Absolutely. out with a a strong, strong 3-0 sweep against a really good team. Um, that's really all you can ask for. And I'm excited to see kind of how Valpo wants to respond to that, how we want to play off of that. But definitely getting us off to a great start for this week. So thank you yep. guys for all the likes. Thank you for all the follows, all the watch. Um, we appreciate all the support. I'm your host, Akembe. This was my co-host. Henry, Speedy Kill Ninja. And we'll catch you guys in the next stream tomorrow.